In this one minute. T minus 50 seconds. T minus 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Ryan Rutley. This is the day, the evening, the night, the midnight, whenever it is that the Lord has made, and we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Father, thank you so much for this day, this evening, this time for sharing and caring, Father God. Thank you so much for all of the viewing audiences that are watching, Lord God. And I'm just praying, Lord God, today that you first forgive us for all of our sins, our iniquities, any shortcomings, procrastinations, mismanagements, anything in our life that is not aligned to your word. I'm asking that you would just bother us, irritate us until we come into the full knowledge of you, God. Thank you for today's guests. Thank you for all those that are coming uh, along to watch this video today, God. And I'm asking that you would just bless his family, bless those who are watching, God, and even those, Father, who will be watching this even later, we'll be careful to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise that is due your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, happy Monday, everybody, and happy Martin Luther King Day. Like they say in our neighborhood, happy Martin Luther the King Day. <laughs> we know that he fought uh, for freedom, uh, for the rights of all of us to be able to vote, to be able to have uh, public access to education, to uh, life in general. And so we honor all of those, not only uh, who helped march with uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, but all of those who helped to put in action some of the laws of today that we're able to so freely enjoy. So thank you guys so much. God bless you and tune in. All right, get you some popcorn, get you some ice cream, whatever you want to do, snuggle up with your wife, snuggle up with your husband, get your kids around the device, your television, or whatever it is you're watching. And I want you guys to join us tonight. I'm so excited about my guest today, who is no stranger to the arena of gospel music. This dude, I've been following him for years. I was a kid, a little kid in the PAW, and I would see him and his brother, but not only them, man, I would follow Commission. I was following in Dawkins and Dawkins. I was following so many different guys, man, who has influenced my uh, music ministry even now. And I use some of their thoughts. I use some of their creativity, even now in music ministry. And it's just so important to be who you are, everywhere you are, when you are, because you never know who's watching your life, guys. So with that being said and done, before we even bring him on today, I want to share a song that he has written, which is a, an amazing song. I love every time I hear this song, I'm up jumping and shouting and dancing. All right. After y'all hear the song, take a guess who it is, and then we'll be right back after these messages. Father, today belongs to you. Yeah. We come to love on you. We come to appreciate you. We come to give you all the glory. I just need you right now. Clap your hands real high. This is one of my favorite songs. Father, this belongs to you. Receive our praise today. Repeat after me. Come on. Glory, glory, glory to our King. Glory, glory, glory to our King. To the Lamb who was slain for our being. To the Lamb who was slain for our being. Glory, glory, glory to our King. Glory, glory, glory to our King. To the Lamb who was slain. For our being, y'all ready? Come on, For our we cry glory to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Come on, cry, we cry. I need you to get off that couch, clap your hands real high. Come on. 
He deserves it. Come on. He deserves it. He deserves it. Come on. If he deserves the praise, the honor, and the glory, everybody help me say. He deserves it. He deserves it. Holy, holy, holy. Is our King, holy, yeah. holy, holy, is our King, to the Lamb who was slain for our being, to the Lamb who was slain for our being, holy, 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 is our King, holy, 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 is our King, to the Lamb who was slain for our being, to the Lamb who was slain. For our people, we cry, 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 so you worthy, you worthy, so worthy, we cry, we cry glory, hey, we cry glory, we cry, we cry. AJ, my Bible says this. Sing a new song to our feet. Sing a new song to the Lamb who was slain for our feet. The Lamb who was slain for our feet. Sing a new song to our King. Sing a new song to our King. To the Lamb who was slain. For our being, come on, we cry glory to our King. Hey, we cry glory to our King. Hey, we cry glory to the King. King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Come on, say, we cry glory to our King. Everybody, hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. You're so worthy. Say, hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. But you worthy, you worthy, you're so worthy, so worthy. You're holy, you're holy, you're holy, so holy. And you're right, just you're right, just so right, just so right. We cry glory to our King. Hey, we cry glory to our King. Everybody all over the world, clap your hands right here. Come on. God, this praise belongs to you. Everybody say, come on. He, 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 he. Wherever you are, think of the goodness of Jesus and say this with us. Come on, say. One more time. Come on. The honor, the glory is all yours, God. Come on, say. At this time. Clap your hands and clap it like you love the Lord. Come on. Say glory, glory to the King, to the King, the King of glory, the King of glory, the King of glory. Say glory, glory to the King, to the King. I think we got it. Y'all playing today? Y'all singing? Come on, somebody say holy. Is the king. It's the king. The one who woke me up this morning started me on my way. Come on, say, Holy, holy is the king. It's the king. Holy, holy is the king. Come on. He deserves it. Anybody know that our God deserves it? He deserves all the praise. He deserves it. I'll give him my 
Thank you, Jesus, for hallelujah. Hey, say glory to the King. Everybody clap your hands to the King. To the King. Say holy is the King. Say holy is the King. Everybody clap your I don't know what you're doing today. If you're in your kitchen, you should be patting your foot. Ain't your ass something else. That's good. Come on. Everybody clap your hands. 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 Sing all the glory belongs to God. All the glory belongs to God. I like that. All the glory belongs to God. All the glory belongs to God. Everybody say, All the glory belongs to God. 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 All of the glory and all of the honor. Be all the glory, all the honor, all the wisdom. All the power belongs to God. Hey, everybody clap your hands. Glory to God. Hey, we cry glory, glory, glory. Hey, y'all yeah. like that? We need to clap our hands right here. Come on, listen. All the glory belongs to God. 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 You say, All the glory belongs to God. All the glory belongs to God. One more time. You say, All the glory belongs to God. All the glory belongs to God. We cry, glory, glory to our King, to the one who sits high in the Glory to our King. We cry, we cry, we cry, glory, glory, glory. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I hope that was a long enough peekaboo game to find out who it was. Well, if you guys are wondering, let me uh, actually expedite time now and bring him on. It's none other than a great friend of mine who is a producer, who seems to be a mentor, a big brother, a pastor, a husband, and man, obviously an amazing producer, gospel artist himself in his own right, man. The nun, the, actually the one and only, Mr. Gerald Haddon. What's up, G? Rutley. G, I was supposed, you know what? I was supposed to have my applause. I should start this all over. <laughs> there it is. Right? Okay, yeah, there, there, there it is. Everybody, That's listen, the ministry, the gift, Gerald, how you doing, man? Happy New man, Year, listen, bro. You, do you see me? I that mean, that mean I'm alive. I'm yes, good. Sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I forgot Let to add, like, man, this dude is a comedian. Gerald, let's first start oh. off. Your dude, your page, let me give a big shout out to my daughters, Rain and Kirsten, right now, who I know don't be watching this. Wow. We love going to your page just to laugh, bro. Really? Bro. I don't think I'll be on there saying I'm funny. Oh, Gerald. That's why it's so funny. Wow. <laughs> it's because, so my daughters, man, they growing up and uh, I'm having this talk, man, they 14 and 15 now. Uh -huh. We're talking about boys. We're talking about sex. We're talking oh, about yeah. life. We're talking about Jeez. marriage. We're talking about all of this stuff. And so, yeah. dude, I think the first, because at first I didn't let them have Instagram or whatever. So long story short, uh -huh. the first Instagram they saw of yours, Gerald, I should pull that junk up, man, and just make everybody laugh. It was the one, bro, where you had the guy on the organ just jumping, bro. He was just jumping for his life. <laughs> and he wasn't even looking at the organ. He wasn't even looking at the organ. Oh, bro, he's but, facing the other way. Bro, yes, that's it. I that's it. I remember that video. <laughs> that's so, like, all I do is show video, store stuff that make me laugh. If it make me laugh, I'll be exactly. like, hopefully it makes somebody else laugh. You know oh, I mean? bro, it does, man. And so sometimes, Gerald, you go out there, you prank your wife, or she pranking you, and yeah. it's just yeah. it's just a lot of life stuff that we appreciate. And I think sometimes, so many times, social media is just we hide behind it. But dude, I want to take the time to appreciate you for being wow. a family man because you share your family with the world. You already got to share yourself with the world. And then you got to yeah. do ministry. Yeah. So that's about loving people. You did a give a uh, like a some kind of a a, a gift. Um, where you you saw a homeless guy, and we'll talk about that in a minute, oh, yeah, in his yeah, car. Yeah. 
I mean, bro, so this like like you deal with every angle of life, which is so dope wow. because uh, again, I'm I'm me and my brothers, shout out to all my brothers, man, really brothers, man. We really grew up the man yeah. of God. <laughs> You're just the minstrels of God. That's it. Sir, hey, the God of the glory, man. But it was yes. guys like you, and big shout wow. out to your mom and dad, Bishop wow. uh, Clarence and Dr. Joyce Haddon, to your brother Diedrich and your entire family. Y'all just Y'all set a foundation for music, like the Winans and the Clark sisters, and y'all in that, y'all in that number. And so, wow. man, like I just want to, uh, I just want to give you a flowers, bro. That you, I, you, you man, a dope really dude, appreciate absolutely. I really appreciate it, bro. Yes, sir. So, and Rain and Kirsten, I mean, cash yeah. after the fact to say. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's gonna be the other way around today, baby. Because you, you the man, dude. Wow. You the man, Gerald. Real quick, man. Uh, okay. Your time, your time is precious, and I would never ever want to disrespect your time, man. So, hey, man, you got me. So, what, okay. what, what we talking about? Man, I appreciate it, man. Let's dive right in. The first question is, what, Gerald, is your process for music production from the beginning? to the end kind of help us producers singers arrangers because this is a different generation it used to be you go have rehearsal and then you just go out there and do it now everything's virtual now so you got stems nowadays i mean what yeah, is your production yeah. but process are you, like but are you talking when you asking me about production unpack that for me are you asking okay. about studio production okay. live production right right first production um you know what yep. md in a show production so <laughs> That's because, true. because each one varies to a certain extent that is so true. Which one, which one you want to, you know, which let's one you talk want to a, Let's talk about music production. We'll, we'll get into church production, live so producing, production later. So producing. So from a producer's standpoint, uh -huh. because one, one of the things I, I didn't get a fair chance to do yet because of time is I wanted to honor it. Gerald, you've produced many records uh, and they are all they are all hot records. I, I know your sound, bro. Like, as, like, like I said, I've studied your sound for years. Wow. Um, uh, from Dietrich's, all his records. My yes. favorite one that you did live was Chain Breaker. Maybe we can wow. talk about that. I'll never forget, uh, Dietrich turned around a few times like, Gerald, y'all, <laughs> he's like, watch yourself up there because, you know, right, y'all right, giving right. it, y'all making me want to sing. Yeah, yeah. Like, from beginning to end, uh, as far as your production, I guess, let's let's take it from that angle. Let's, let's give people a real example. How did you do Chain Breaker? Because that was a hit record, bro. That was... Was wow. that your second or third record? Which no, we was about four. We probably were about four or five records in by then. You were, because we My did life story. I can, I can just tell you the very first record was coming to this house that we okay. ever. Yes, was yes. Coming to this house, and then. Yes. I think we did one after that. I want to say live the life. Then yeah, yeah. this is my story. This is my story. And then um wow, you're right. This is my story. I don't know what happened to my screen because that looks so ghetto back there <laughs> with it not having nothing on it. You're good. That's um, dope. This is, my, this is my story. Yep. Um and maybe something else. Yep. Supernatural. Yeah, man. We had, we was about four or five records in with DJ. You are so right. But then we finally decided to do a live record. Um, I think I pushed him like, yo, we need to do a live record, like get yeah. this stuff, like, like do some live stuff. So when we decided to do live, um, I pulled the band together. So from top to bottom to answer the question, the process is sure. getting with the the artists, mm -hmm. um, with any artist when it comes to live production, getting with the, or studio production. Right. When you're working with an artist, the first thing you should do is capture their vision. That's good. Um, and when you capture their vision, you can then see how you can take their vision and make it grow um because what what we tend to do and, and this can answer probably two questions for you when it comes to church musicians anything it's not our vision it's right. it's the it's the artist's vision unless you're the artist wow. you know you know so it's their vision it's your job to not put my glasses on their vision it's me to put their glasses on and say okay i can see where you're trying to go now how yeah. can i help you add to your vision so right. with chain breaker we wrote a lot of them songs was written doing service you know dj would wow. just write song we'd be playing something he'd keep playing that just like he did on chain breaker y'all make me sing. yeah that's how we were in church right he'd write a song he'd sing something like we worship you in the spirit he started wow. singing that we just start playing the chords behind him like oh it makes sense it's just three chords we worship wow. you in yep. the back and forth back and forth you know right and um we was like we're gonna record it wow so that's how a lot of them a lot of songs came about wow. so um in doing that a producer's job to me there's a difference between a a beat maker and a producer mm. different things right beat right makes beats now they're trying to say a beat you know he produced beats okay yep. right you know, right a producer sees a project from top 
to bottom. That's so that good. That means girl. from the vision. All right, how do you? Where do you want to go with this? I want. I want horns. I want straight. I see this song as a, or they give you their song, and you're like, okay, I can hear where you're going, and don't let the artist be able to play because any song Dietrich ever writes, he can actually play. Right. You gotta play it. So right. he can play it. He may not be able to play it like us, you know what I mean? But he right. can play it. He can sit down and play his song. Right. So, but then we're going like, let's do this to it. No, right. we got to do like, like when he brought me Chainbreaker. Right. When I I was fresh off of playing with um the Locks. Um, okay. Money, Power, Respect. If right. You know that, that song, you could hear the, you don't, do, 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 do. that's in there. Right. <laughs> me and Bobby <laughs> Craig was just fresh off of doing shows with, with them. And I was like, Oh, we got to do this to this song. So when he God, sings it, I'm like, cool. we got to go. Dun, 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 ding, 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 ding. So I just helped take his vision, for lack of a better word. And wow. like, what can I bring to it that takes it from wherever it is up a notch? That's our job. Then right. after that, I go to the studio. If I'm the producer, I start fixing the things that need to be fixed. I start adding to the vision. Right. And I'm supposed to see it all the way to our hand over to mix. Like, here's mix. And even right. in there. You supposed to still be a part, saying like, "No, I'll turn it," because this song should have been piano heavy, or this song should have been bass. Yeah. It's yeah. about the that with the bang, that bang, that. I need that to be in the, the front, yeah, Brilliant. and make sure always remember producers that the vocals are the main attraction, not the music. And I, wow. I had to learn that year, years later that you, we try to we put the music here, and you look up the vocals here, so it's technical to be here. You know, what that's mean? good. So that's my. Wow, Hopefully that is question. no that that did man, and I, I was just seeing the process all the way through is what I'm saying. Right. As a producer, as an MD, same thing. Seeing the process all the way through, all the way through. That's heavy because, um, and I'm sure you can get into you know executive production versus you know music production. Like you said, MDing the MD can be the producer, but sometimes yeah. the producer can just say, look. You MD it, and I'm gonna make sure I see the whole process too, like you said. Absolutely, and, and that's so important, man. Man, so but, but real, I have to yeah. say this, and sure, to anybody who's watching this, a producer, songwriter, anything, or if you're an artist, right, always have the conversation with the music director or your musicians as to who they are on the production. Let me tell you what I mean. That's good. Um, man. if you're just my music director, tell them what you're my music director, you're not producing this, I am. But you're the music director, you're paid for hire. So that means you're gonna take the ideas I give you and run with them. Now, I will give you if if you come up with some ideas like like maybe if I'm saying, like for example, glory, 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 don't 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 if you're going ba 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 ba, right? You're not getting no credit for that, you know, if you decide to add that, because that's not writing to the song, that's just embellishing and adding, you know, arrangement. And I'm willing to give you arrangement credit. So the yes. artists need to know the parts that they're playing. You are work for hire. I'll give if you come up with some arrangements, I'll give right. you arrangement credit. But I'm the producer or I'm the songwriter. That's good. And you give them that up front so nobody at the end say, Man, I came up with that. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah. And nobody <laughs> gave me no credit. Man, I'm sitting right here. Well, I gave you music director credit, but right. you didn't know to ask for it. And once what you don't know to ask for, other people are not gonna give you. Ooh. I hope you somebody that. heard that. Yes, sir. Yeah, what you don't know to ask for, they're not just going to give you. Because sometimes they don't know that they're supposed to give you that. Wow. That's one thing that, two, they may know, but he don't ask. He don't I don't ask. give. That is so you know, good. Yes, yeah. sir. That's a very rich point because now people can't feel like they slighted if they never, like you said, if they weren't clear with their assignment. If they, yeah. if they, if they came in arranging that's much different than asking for writer's credit because exactly. you didn't write nothing. You you exactly. you helped arrange. You had an idea that was. Part I'm of calling it. you, Ryan, to play for me and embellish what I have already created. Right. I created a song from top to bottom. I wrote "Glory, Glory, Glory" from top to bottom. Every don't da don't don't da don't ba 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 ba. Now, if in the van you just had to go. Don't, right, don't. right. I, I, you ain't giving you yes. that. You don't write his credit for that. <laughs> now, I'm willing as a because I am very. Anybody who ever worked with me know that I'm big on sharing things, even when you shouldn't. Um, so oh, if you, yep. you ask me for something, I'm open and willing to say, "Oh, I can give you some arrangement for this." Right, but right. I, publishing no, maybe, or if if I feel like you did write that whole, I wasn't even going there. You right. took me somewhere I wasn't going. 
right. here's a percentage. Let's agree on a percentage for right. that that makes you feel comfortable and me feeling comfortable. You know, that's man, that is so good. I hope y'all chiming in, y'all. Comment, like, share. This is Gerald Head, and we got him here tonight, y'all. Let's take advantage of the time to pick his brains. Gerald, now let's 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 jump to this side because this is the side I believe that gives you a lot of definition. Okay. What was your family background like as kids? Did you and Dietrich fight a lot as kids? Were, we still you and like mom? We grown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, man. We My grown. Brother, still be like, ah, ah, ah. Yep. <laughs> I love okay. it, man. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Man, so so is it safe to say, because you know, some people have a problem with this. I don't, because I love, I love how we grew up. I love what God has given us. And that is we grew up in the church, G. We we Absolutely. you know, our badge of honor wasn't in the street shooting and killing. Right. I mean, right, right. obviously we grew up, we had to learn the 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 benefits of being in the house of God being there on time tithing and then when we saw with our parents we were able to give it to our children tell yeah. us a little bit about some of your family background man and, and what you appreciate about that okay my family background was music church music church music church <laughs> okay and, and churches conventions yeah other churches yeah even when we went on vacation right it was added with church we so y'all on vacation we're going, to, we're going to the convention it's in orlando Plus, we're going to stay for a couple of days and do Disney World. Wow. It, but it worked for me because what yeah. and you said something key. I wouldn't trade what how I grew up for nothing. Amen. I wouldn't trade for nothing. Even when I go back to see whoopings, punishments, yep, yep. all night church, revivals. Wow. Um, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I wouldn't trade it because it built me to be who I am. And Amen. two, it I have so many amazing relationships because of church wow I my kids and people now i said you have to learn relationships come from places that you spend the most time mm. most of your relationship i spent a lot of time between school church you know school, what i mean cousins right. house or friends that, that of the name in the neighborhood but church right. i'm still connected to close friends i'm a soul seeker because of my yeah. 40 something years relationship with nissan stewart wow um, 30 right. something with warren campbell yeah 30 right. with with teddy camp like all of them family for 30 something 40 something years wow, of just wow. relationship church brought us together yeah. so my family background um just being musical everybody in my family from all sides is musical they either pastor preacher prophet right. missionary or singer something so wow. my family my background is all music we can get together and sit around somebody jump on the bass somebody jump on drums somebody jump on, jump on piano somebody jump on keys and we all sing around the thing you know wow. so that was my family background and it still is and right. it's it's absolutely amazing did, did we fuss and fight all the time like yeah. it was always a um a battle of um you think you this or you think you that you know right right um, we it, you didn't build rome in a day even when they built rome they had a whole lot of arguing as they built it but then you look up like ooh. but as wow. much as we may argue fuss me and my brother david um, yep. argue fuss and uh, um fight but then you couldn't do it to us right that was, <laughs> we can do it together but right if you get to fighting that day, uh oh, you oh yeah, him. yeah, man. Hey, wow. know, I'm gonna beat him up, not you. Right, 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 right. But it, it made us who we are. That yeah. is so cool, man. And big shout outs to I think it's safe to say y'all all all y'all went to Mumford, right? We did go to Mumford. Yep. Y'all did okay. Yeah, yeah. So all y'all were Mustangs. Mustangs. Come on. Did you play sports, Gerald? I did. Or you did okay. Okay, I was gonna say, uh, give a give a shout out to your coaches or whoever you knocked out in high school or whatever. <laughs> Okay, I so you were just always like you said, church, music, ministry, music, yep, music, 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 Entire music. Life. Who would you contribute the most of your musical background to? As far okay. as influence, okay, maybe. I can give you. It's going to always start with Winans, okay, commission. Wow, um, first, right, and then you, then you add Thomas Whitfield. Put it like this: every Detroit, and then I gotta say Andre Crouch because I'm going back. I'm I'm back in my childhood and my mental right now. Wow. Growing up, my parents, it was records they played all the time that I like in my head right now just came to my head. Rance Allen, I belong to, to you, man. I remember riding around in, in El Dorado with the eight track playing like, <laughs> man, Andre Crouch. Um, he was wounded, wow. wounded. Yeah. Oh, like, it was the sounds of your life. Then I didn't grow up, even though my father's a pastor. You know how people say we couldn't listen to gospel to, to nothing right. but gospel in our house. That was right. our story. Clarence Hatton right. would let us listen to any genre of music. 
As long okay. as it wasn't cussing and profanity and crazy like that. Right, so right. my house, Songs in the Key of Life, we listened to Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye was one of his friends. So wow. Temptations were his friends. So wow. he had a background. He was a minister of music. So he had a right. background of hanging with Church God in Christ, hanging with apostolics, hanging with yep. the Baptists, hanging with. So he let us do the same thing. So wow. I'll be over at a Baptist church today at a yep. Church of Christ. I'll be over at a, a, a spiritualist church. And yep. I'll be at a glorious <laughs> church of God. Yep. You know, I went everywhere. So we listened to everything. So I could play an R&B song in, in the house. And wow. it not be a problem. we listen wow. to Stevie Wonder loud. I could um, have a talk with God. I'll be in the house. I'm like, oh. And my oldest brother had a record collection <clears throat> that he brought in the house and said, don't tear up my records. We would just go through them records. Wow. From everything from my Adidas to you name it. We, wow. we listened to it. LL Cool J. I knew the words to I Need Love, like the back of my... Well, I'm alone in my room. <laughs> next to the wall. Right. We listen to everything. Wow. The music then, you got to remember. Yeah. It's clean. Yeah. It's yeah. Clean, bro. It was way different, man. Clean. It's way different. Wow. That's a good point. That's yeah, a good point. point. Way different. So your background, uh, your family background, being in church and dad, obviously living in Detroit, you, it was almost guaranteed you was going to be friends with somebody from Motown, somebody, somebody from, you know, any any musical hey, background. Right. I tell people this. All, I had an argument with my bass player at the church the other day, a debate. Let me say that. Okay. Yep. I was talking to somebody else and he chimed in and said one of the dumbest things I think that ever could uh -oh. be said. Uh-oh. Please talking, share it with us. This I was is talking nuts. to somebody and I said, I said, being from Detroit, what you just said, yep. I said, our our musical background is rich. Yeah. I said, it's one of, it's one of the top, if not the top three in the top three you know i'm gonna say number one because it's where i'm from right right in the top three when it ranks to music he said i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry pg can i chime in i said first of all i wasn't talking to him i'm talking to somebody else he <laughs> okay. said i disagree it's florida i said florida florida that's what he said i said okay name me i said what genre you genre you want to come from right i said wait he said well, let's stop with gospel i said okay i said wow. now i said give me your top five uh -oh. major gospel artists that come from florida <laughs> okay he named only three okay and i hate to say this the three he named i never heard of wow that, and that's a real thing y'all so and, and there ain't no disrespect that that's just what that it was, is that yeah. was i said you just named okay. no let me just quit line he named florida mass i did hear him florida okay mass. that okay. was one out of three he named two or three others he said so -and -so -and -so. oh and he named doc mckenzie I'm I'm lying. Okay. So let me let me correct myself. Okay. In Florida Mass, Doc McKenzie, and it was two or three others that he named. I was like, I have no idea who's it. So I said, definitely I know heard of Doc McKenzie. Right. He was a great. I said Florida Mass. We heard of them. I yep. said, but I can't tell you a Florida Mass song. I could probably name right. you a Doc McKenzie song. Right. I said, now you want me to take a turn? <laughs> right. Winans, Commission, Thomas Whitfield, James Moore. God. And then he said, he's from Detroit. Shut up. James wow. Moore, Maddie Moss Clark, the Clark sisters, Dave Moss, Twinkie, um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 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 Kiki, Dietrich. I got, you. I just kept going. I said, You want me? Can I stop? I said, Can I stop now? You want me to keep going? I said, You don't want me to start other name of other artists like, uh, right. um, uh, um, um, what was it? I have a message from the Lord. My uh, friend, too. oh, um, uh, uh, you talking about, um, oh man, hey, he's my friend too. Uh, I'm sorry. He may, hopefully, you don't watch. Yeah, you, you got, you got, um, but then you take the GMWA. Let's go there. Yeah. All that over there. I said, yeah. well, he tried to name. Well, I said, now nah, I'm going to do better and give you. I said, then you can start naming Florida artists like Flo Rida. If you want to go on that end. Then he right, went, right. So then he looked up and Googled some names. Then he found a whole <laughs> bunch of others. I said, I don't need to Google. I'm going right. to go here. I'm going to yeah. say, you have to take the whole um, whole roster from Motown. Boom. Wow. I said, oh even God. if. Only 60% was from Detroit, the Temptations, Four Tops, those people. But you got to remember, anybody who filtered through Detroit, Marvin Gaye was not from Detroit, but he moved to Detroit yep. from, from D.C. area yep. um, and became a Detroit. Stevie did the same Stevie thing. Wonder. Yep. I said, when you do that, when you go in there, I said, we and we just going to talk Michigan. Wow. You got to name Marvin Sapp. We got to name. Come on. I said, stop. Yeah. So my yeah. point is, and then I hit him with Eminem. I said, okay, oh, so you want me to hit you with Eminem? You want me to hit Hit you with caught up in the rapture of love. Who is that? Anita Baker. You want me to keep going, bro? Right. Kid Rock. You want me? To, I can keep going. We talking about diamonds here. Madonna. Right. Right. In Rochester Hills, Michigan. Right. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Wow. I said you can't do this with me. I know Ooh. my. I know my history. 
of where I come from. Wow. I said, that's not even talking about local artists right. that may have had a song right. that people, I because you, I can go into my man, Um, you, uh, you ain't gonna know this song. Um, Shackles on my feet won't let me dance. R.J. Rice. That was a big song back in the day. Okay. 80s. It yeah. was a it was a dance song. Then you wow. can take um um Prince did what's her name? Love is contagious. Y'all probably yeah. don't remember this. Okay. Uh, what was her name? Because I'm about to talk about it. But Prince put that on her Detroit girl. She's from Detroit too. So Detroit so Dietrich, what did he say? Because you kind of girl. What did I say? What did I call you? <laughs> Did I call you? Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I only did that because I thought you were gonna hear that you did it. You didn't even pay attention. Oh God, I'm I'm so sorry. Y'all actually look right. the older y'all get, which actually y'all look younger, y'all look more like each other. You know, I don't he know why. He looked like me. He wished he looked like <laughs> He has a listen. He wished. Uh oh, now you about, you about to ask me something. I don't now. know what he was saying to hear this, but I was gonna say after you said this, Gerald. Uh -huh. What did this guy say? Because you're still not done naming people. I'm like, still not done, I, and I hadn't even Googled. This oh is all off the top God. of my head. Off the top of your head. This is not off the top of my head. So is Florida still top to him? No, it's, no. He was like, oh, well, well, I, I see that you say it. I see. Right, right. I said, yo, I said, stop. You can't even name Florida. I said, if you gonna go, if you gonna hit me with people, you gotta go to Chicago. Yep. You go to yep. L.A. or you yep. go to even Atlanta or different places like that. I said, well, right. Just a name where a pocket group of people. Come Please. from musically, yeah, I say. Don't. Even if you go to L.A., you got to see that um, Barry Gordy took Motown. Yep, L.A. to L.A. You know? He so, took it there. Yep, yeah, he took it. Wow. There. So, bro, so he, that's, just, he was dumbfounded, and it was it was like having an ignorant <laughs> conversation. He said, "You right. argue with a fool, you sound like a fool." So I was like, "Right, yeah, you know. right." Oh. And he he was young. So that's another thing. Like, let's deal with that right now before we move on, man. Uh -huh. So. As a young musician, you're in church, you go to school, you in church, you go to band rehearsal, you in church, and you you started doing studio work. First of all, as a young musician, there was a time, Gerald, I'm sure you carried your equipment around and you wasn't getting paid. Absolutely. Gee, what was that life like? Fun. Really? Man. There was some some of the best times of my life knowing we was about to hit Bailey Cathedral and I yeah. take my key have my keyboards, I pack up speakers, we'll pack up speakers, guitar amps, bass wow. amps, and go over there and load it up and do it. Um, I remember being when I played for Aaliyah, I would have keyboard, mm -hmm. we'd be at the airport like this. I have my guitar in this <laughs> one and my other keyboard in this one. I, wow. it was fun going to the airport with it. When I played with John B. Key, we'd be at the airport when we weren't on the bus, right? If we was at the airport, we got all our stuff. We pull up, I like wow. it was something about pulling up. And pulling out your stuff and people going, wow. Yeah, they about to hit. He got that D50. Oh man, right, he got right. Oh, they must be about to kill you. Right. It so felt good. it felt good. I mean, this it. generation now, Gerald, if you say, Hey man, we got this gig, but I need you to bring your stuff with you. Yeah, it's like a hesitation now. G, what's Absolutely. what's the difference, man? Well, I mean, <laughs> why is it like that? The difference is the same reason why our kids now are not going to church like we did. They, wow. They're in a whole nother, it, okay, to, to me, they're spoiled now. Okay, yep. And what's agree. happening now, let me show you what they're getting. They're getting, they're getting the, it's like my kids. My kids didn't grow up like we did, even though I didn't grow up in a terrible, we grew up in a, in a pretty decent neighborhood. Right. Um, I felt like, you know, we grew up, I was like, I thought we was rich as kids, but then when you go back, like, <laughs> right. well, nowhere near rich, you know, and my <laughs> parents would tell me, they're like, we weren't rich, we was trying to make it. Right. But right. we didn't know that. Right. Same thing with my kids. Right. Well, we living in a six thousand square foot house. Right. Everybody got their own bathroom. Um, one of my sons, two of my sons, got their own bathrooms in their room. My right. baby boy, so he don't know what it is to <laughs> have to share a room or right. um, share a bathroom. He ain't even got to come out of his room until he's ready to leave. To leave. So, yep. so now, so he's living a residual off of what we were able to build off of. So now, wow. where we used to carry our equipment. Yeah, and there was a time that it stopped where we had backline. Wow. Yep, yep, that's so good. Backline, I was a part of the, and you, we were part of the carrying our keyboards, carrying our amps. Yep. Taking, I had, we used to have to take everything that's in this room if I was going to do a a, a studio session. Everything yep. had to come with me. Wow. When we was making this is my story in the records, when we was going over there to the studio, we had to bring all the keyboards, wow, bring everything man. we got. Wow. The kids now don't have to do that because now it's 
call. Hey, what we need? I need a Jupiter and give me a yep. RD or bring me a what motif or bring me yep. a so-and-so, a montage um, yep. or Nord. Okay, got it. Wow. They're living off that now. And yep. it's not a bad thing. Sure. It's, it's just change. It just changed. Yeah. They don't, they don't know. It's like slavery. Right. We don't deal where we're seeing in this life. We see bot um uh, um we see spots of yeah. uh, of uh racism. Right. We never got I never got whooped or hung or they came right. to um beat me, but my, my father in law says Mm. Uh, they, uh, the white lady lied on him and said he whistled. Mm. They came to his house with stakes, and and his mama said, "Please don't." Just so happened the guy who said it, she worked for him, and and um, the guy's wife who said it, she mm. worked with them. And when they came with the stakes, um, his mother said, "My father-in-law's mother said, don't kill him. If you will let me beat him, I'll beat him in front of you. If you wow. won't kill him." And he, she sat there and beat him on the front porch in front of all them white men. Wow. We didn't deal with that. Wow, man. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. didn't have to deal with that. So when, right. when we hear those stories, it's it's a wow. Like, man, yeah. Well, I didn't have to deal with that, but I may have had to deal with another situation else. Yep. of of a situation, but not that. Right. Our kids not gonna have to deal with most of the stuff we deal with. That's Their good. kids not gonna have to deal with the stuff that they, you know, that they right. they're dealing with. Right. So it's change, but then if if we don't put the stuff in our kids, like no. Be honorable. Be yeah. on time, right. man. If you have to carry a keyboard, say I bring one if I have to. Yeah. You know, but is there a way you can have? If it's possible, can you put it in the budget? Yeah. That you all bring it because right. bring my break my drums down. I can do that, but it'll right. cost a little more if I have to bring my drums. Right. You know. Right. You put right. that in. The, you know the thing. So it's just yeah. asking and being honorable. You know. That's and, good. But our kids not deal, gonna deal with what we have to do, and it's not a bad thing. And it's not right. <clears throat> really, I'll say this because you shouldn't have got me going. <laughs> I love I, it. I argue this with people. I hate wow. to say this. Yeah. These kids today don't even know hymns. Right. Yes, they do. Mm. They know today's hymns. Wow. Ira. Yeah. They know today's hymns. They know if, <laughs> if they can go back from the last 20 years, mm -hmm. but they shouldn't be able to go back to what hymns was back to us in 82 or 79 or mm -hmm. um 86. And so if so, if you go when peace like a river, you like. I don't know that. See, you don't know, you don't know how no hymns. Right, right. right. <laughs> I tell people this all the time. The church that you go to or the community that you're in, if they don't expect that from you, mm. they don't sing those. They sing all the CCM hits. Right, so I didn't right. have to learn it as well. I didn't have to learn whatever, the, you know, hallelujah. Right. I didn't have to learn it. So don't beat them up. Mm -hmm. Just if if I pull a mus younger musician into my space, right? I say, hey, here's the deal. I like singing CCM. Right. I like singing. I may sing a quartet song. Yep. I would. may sing. A, I may go back and pulling him out. Yep. Yes, Lord. I don't know that. I'm gonna teach it to you. Right. Or if I can't teach it to you, I'm gonna give you this. Say, hey, here are a list of songs that I may go back to that you can go learn. That's They're good. very easy. This is the key I doing it. But don't beat them up saying, see these young people today, man. That's good. They don't know hymns, man. They, they need to get somewhere and get under some 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 songs. <laughs> no, that's the crazy. Good. Part is now YouTube University, so they yeah. can learn from Corey Henry. They can learn yep. from Eddie Brown. They can learn from you. They can learn yep. from me. They yep. can learn from Timberland. They can learn from whoever yeah. they want to learn from. And the truth is, we're not. Do this is what's dope about what you're doing with this, is that yes, you're giving information to some people who may be sitting at home saying, "How do I? Yeah, why do I?" Right. And if they watch this, like, oh, he just answered the question that I always been thinking. That's good. Like, yeah. I always been thinking, man, you, know? you you did that, Gerald, with you did a barbershop discussion with so many heavy hitters, man. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that was so dope, bro. Like you bought yeah. in, you know, and I don't want to start calling all names because I might forget yeah. a few. But, man, you you had, you know, more in there. You had Kilpatrick in there. Yeah. And these guys were able to bring their testimony. And they Absolutely. were able to bring their different backgrounds to yep. the setting. Yep. And, and I appreciate you for that too, man. Uh, wow. You right. Cause this is the kind of platform we want to be able to do. And you, you already have a platform that, that does that. You just, you automatically, you already are somebody that is considered wow. a mentor because wow. you've been doing this for so long. And, and, and I feel like when you show up, you automatically become a spiritual dictionary to people who don't know, like you said, and yeah. I think that's very valid. What you just said is, 
because I ended up doing that. I'm guilty of that. I did that last week. I was picking up my daughters from school. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I think I'm going to this year, I'm going to teach them at least one hymn per quarter of the year this year. I'm oh. going to teach them at least four hymns, just not because, oh, you need to learn this. And and, and y'all learn, y'all learning all these new hip hop songs and these right. new praise and worship songs. Yeah, yeah. Like you said. And so being a leader, that's the compass of teaching is Absolutely. showing them, just show them. Man. You got to beat them. them. You teach them what you want them to know. So a leader's right. job is to speak. You pour into them what you want to be poured in. You can't have a musician wow. come up out the audience yep. and then you sing gyro and then from gyro you go back to somewhere and start singing the verses <laughs> and when they all the same and they right, all right. Hear it, I aim. they're like and when they're not, they're like, you don't know that? Like, right, right. You know, right. You know you're 60 years old and I'm I'm 21. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, if you sung Now Beholding Lamb, like, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Right, that's, and it's a you know, major that's, difference. That's my man. hymn. That's that's my that's a uh, twenty year, um, two decades back. That's the kids' hymn is now behold the lamb, or you know what I'm saying, wow, um, man. one of those songs. Yeah. For us, it's going back to. Right. So if you say if I got on the keyboard, and you start singing a hymn, it'd be right. like you don't know that. I know y'all used to sing. Right, um, Jesus is all the world to man. me. My life, my joy, to my me, all. Yeah. And so what I do is, if somebody starts singing at my church, he is, and my music, I'm like, you don't know what? I got you. I come up and, and I'm like, what key we at? Okay, yep. I got you. And I'll play it, you know, for him. And they're like, wow. you're fine. You don't beat them up. You're supposed to lift them That's up. That's good. You know? Yeah. That's good. That's so good. Man, I hope y'all are chiming in. If you're just watching, thank you for joining us, you guys. We're almost there. We've got about three more questions for the producer himself, Grammy-nominated, stellar award-winning and nominated, uh, my friend and brother, Gerald Haddon, y'all. Listen, Gerald, the third question that we got for you, man, is this. Let's uh -huh. take a flip. How in the world are you able to manage marriage, parenthood, and ministry? How do you do it, man? Um, it's a process. For example, I'll give okay. you a look in on a little bit of what we do. Um, some things do get neglected or have, let okay. me say this, have gotten neglect, neglected and you gotcha. have to bring yourself back full circle. But if you, I'm, I'm sure. a creative a hundred percent. So that means right. I'm not structured in saying we're going to do this. I just started getting this way since I became a pastor because I have people saying, PG, I need you to come on. Cause I, I'm random. I like, you know what? Today we're going to do so-and-so. But right, I promised her I was right. gonna take her to eat somewhere. Right. But I just you just called and I said, You meet me at the church. Okay, come on, let's go. Right. She's like, No, you gotta remember, you told me you right. was taking me on a date tonight. So this is what That's I real. to manage. To manage okay. is to um, like for example, Mondays is our date day. That means Amen. we wake up breakfast, lunch, dinner, movies, mall, whatever she wanna do. That's awesome. We do it. Or, right. you know, like we spend the day together. Sometimes, to be honest, sometimes we'll spend the whole day in the bed. Literally That's real. the entire day in the bed. Don't even open the curtains. Absolutely. We'll watch TV. We'll, we'll Netflix and chill. Yep. That's um, real. On our Monday. Tuesday is my church day. Right. Um, true. That means if anybody at the church, um, uh, anybody who needs anything from me, as far as counseling, as far as um, even our um, ministry leaders meeting is on a, on a Tuesday. Gotcha. Um, so our whole day is dedicated. That's good. To um church Wednesday, pretty much the same because we have Bible study on, on on Wednesday night. Right. But then some days I don't have to do nothing during the day. I'll creep in music. Right. Um Thursday and Friday is and Thursday and Friday is my music days. Right. And taking a couple of hours out if I have to preach to make sure. But during the week, I always find myself <laughs> like this Sunday I have to preach. So right. I started Monday like what am I preaching? Right. So I say, God, what do you want to hear from me? That's uh, good. What, I mean, what did you want me to say to the people? So I'll start doing that during the week. And right. then I bite at that. And then I'll sit down by today. Right. I'm sitting down going, all right, all right, well, let me write it out. And tomorrow right. I'll, I'll spend the rest of the day. Like, all right, even going, here's the crazy part, going over to the church sometime going, and when God, da, 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 wait a minute, that word, I spelled that, I said that all. <laughs> right. And, you know, and people don't know you can do that as a pastor, a leader. Right. You should, it's just the same as honing in on your craft. You right. practice this, you should practice that too. So I balance it out. Now, when it comes to my kids, my kids are grown. So I forget them. I tell people all the time, no disrespect. <laughs> I say F them. That means right. <laughs> if, your, if your mind goes somewhere else, that's on you. I say F right, them. Right. 
I, my kids will be 19 this year, 19, 20, awesome. 23, and 31. Right. I don't care. I don't, you know, I That's still awesome. try to impart, I still try to impart in them, but they think they're grown. So they, I let them be, yeah. I let them be grown. I said, like my mama said, go, go to the nations. You got it. Right. But um, they all still live in the house. Right. And um, we still True. laugh and joke. We we argue, we fuss. I still Absolutely. Make, take out the garbage. I yep. think, hey, I still need to move your car. Yeah. Hey, do this, <laughs> do your part. Right. So, Unless they ask, like the one day I was riding with them, and normally when I'm riding with my kids, they don't like to ride with me because I turn into, like, man, you need to get your life together. Yeah. One day, <laughs> one day my son said, he said, can we ride together, dad, and you don't don't preach to me? Said, wow. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> right. Let's do it. You know, so now they're grown. So when we ride together, I wrote, we rode the other day, me and my son, my son is an amazing singer, my middle son. Is an amazing right. singer and um songwriter actually he's like wow. he got it like wow. he got it and i was just riding i said i said come go with me to the studio i was going over to mess with dante bow and aaron moses oh yeah i said come come on let's go ride and mess with your, your, your god brothers right and let's talk i want you to hone in on your you know and we just did that i said anything wow. you want to talk about he said no not really i said let's ride we just put on some music we just roll nice didn't say that you know so it don't have to beat them up all the time because i am a person who beat up on you Right. So you're not that kind of parent, Gerald, where or maybe you have grown over the years because if they're older now, were they the kind of kids they were able to get it by spanking them or they was getting it by you telling them you was you were just good at talking to them. And they, they need were, spankings. They did. Oh, okay. yeah. they, if I be honest with you, they still ain't got it. I got you. I got you. <laughs> they, they clicked in, you know, I was like, maybe, right. You know, for some people, it keep clicking at 30. My oldest son, he got it. He right. has a great job, six figure job. He's doing good. Nice. But when it comes to steal our relationship a little bit if i'll be totally honest with you sure sure you find that he has issues with being forced to go to church or got you being that's forced real to, being forced to go and i'm like ask for me in my house this is how i was taught you go you go and like now i stopped making them go to church okay. when I, my oldest was 16 i stopped forcing them okay. because the mother said to me she said girl don't force them to go to church because you want them to have their own relationship with god but mm. i was asked for me in my house they're gonna go to church right, so i right, right. Making, I stopped forcing him to go to church. I said, you know what? You're right. 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 I stopped forcing him. So come to find out, he said he had church trauma and and, and church stuff. I'm like, okay. we didn't make wow. him go to church. Right, right, right. right. Even now, I, I don't make him come. To, I don't make him come, but I tell them, I say, I need y'all. That's right. That's I need good. your help. This is a right. this is kind of sort of the family business. Right, so right. If, if you don't contribute to the house in a bill, at least right. contribute with coming to take the garbage out of the church or come and turn the lights on for me. Come work the stream for me. Come do this. Like, come help me. Uh, help. That's good. You know? Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. You know, that's how we roll. That's you know? real. That's perfect. real. Trust me, right. it's not perfect. It's a, it's a day to day process. Sometimes I want to go choke everybody neck. Yeah. And my wife said, leave me alone. Like, all right, you know what? I'll leave them alone. Right. You know? That's real. No, that's good, man. And and it's a blessing that you and Tammy, y'all been married now. How many years now? I saw you. It'd be 24 years, May okay. 3rd coming May 3rd. I got you. I saw the the challenge you got on your knees and you just went in on her. She just couldn't help but just laugh, dude. Yeah. Just like it's been 25 years. You know, you guys have been together. Y'all look so good together, man. Thank you guys bro. absolutely, man. Y'all have always um Thank just through every cycle of life, man, you guys have been able to maintain uh your yeah. marriage and that's a blessing. That everybody yeah. in this creative space don't get the chance to say that. You absolutely. Know, and and everything is a process too. Absolutely. Everybody think you know what you see on Instagram, like oh, they just so amazing. No, we argue like we argue like two people off the street. Absolutely, but we know how to make up. Absolutely, same way we argue. Yes, we, we make up fast. So right. the longest our arguments can go, or the, or being mad at each other, is maybe an hour. You wow, know, that's I'm like you know what? I, I'm I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. I love you. Come on, right. let's go eat. Right. Hey, I want to go with you. Come on. You know. Right. Yeah. Man, last thing on on family uh relationships is what would you give musicians pastors um and just people in general what advice would you give them as far as marriage for that person that's watching saying man you know i don't feel like we working out we've been together this why because some people gerald are waiting until year 13 and 14 before they say you know what let's get a divorce it's like yep. y'all didn't pass you jumped over the hump already you know what i mean what would you give them what what, what is the case go ahead i was about to tell you you say they jumped over the hump. Some of them may not have jumped over the hump. Okay, wow. Yeah. So you, yeah. you could be together 13, 20 something years, 30 years, and still haven't jumped over the hump. Wow. What's the hump? 
of okay. giving that person the thing they need in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So example, yeah. if she needs you, she don't like the way you're friendly with, like how come random, you're just talking to random girls Real and, talk. you're just, and you in people's DMs and yeah. I don't like that. Right. Well, you always, you always it, it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing. I don't like it. Right. So stop. Right. Oh, so if I'm in somebody's DMs, would you be okay? Or whatever your problem is. So what I'm saying is some of them hadn't got over the hump. They haven't like, gotten That over was a hump I had to get over, to be honest. Got back, you. It took me years to like, I was saying this exact yep. thing. Like, girl, she my friend. Oh, she right. my this. Yep. That's my, yeah, yep. that's, that's my sister. Yeah, that's my sister. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, your sister ain't your sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Everybody, that's true. you say your sister ain't your sister. Bro. She ain't blood. Let me <laughs> but those are humps right. you have to get over. Right. And then maturity in certain areas yeah that's good knowing how and the other, another thing is i would tell people to seek counseling that's good we didn't grow up hearing somebody say seek counseling yep. yes we got married before we got married you went and saw your pastor yep. and his his wife or even my, my parents being my pa pastors or that wasn't counseling i'm that's talking good. about seek real counseling. paperwork counseling yep. that they got paperwork and they don't go to your church they and yep. they're not privy to your information siding with her or siding with you right. let them stand in the middle and say tell them tell me what's going on i don't know anything yeah and say do you hear how you're talking to her or do you hear how you talk wow. to him do you hear the expectations you ask for him you really want him to meet them or do you really want her to meet them that's good okay. and give you information because a lot of people haven't sat across and most men this should be a prayer that most that men especially black men our pride is so strong that we don't want nobody to know we're going through counseling or she asked me to go to counseling wow. so what i would tell any pastor is dumb your pride down any yeah. any black man dumb your pride down get the counseling you need get the um ask somebody because that's another thing we're afraid to ask people for information think about it right how many times you were scared to ask somebody, show me them cords because you ain't want to seem like right oh, he had to come ask me for course no right you, the only way you can get information is that you ask is that you Woo, brother Great. You are in the preaching mood tonight. That's real, man. Yeah. Just simply ask because that pride will jack you up, man. You know, yeah. and then you don't. I've seen that happen, and I'm sure, Gerald, you've seen it so many Absolutely. times. Where it, the it, person eats, it eats everybody. Pride eats everybody up, and we right. all we all deal with pride. Right. It's just a matter of how high I call them pride walls. How high your pride wall is. Wow. So hopefully you got one you can climb over. Yeah, step over. But yeah. if you got one, you got to climb over. That means everything gonna be a problem for you. You like they can't tell me nothing. Right. I done traveled all over the world. They can't yeah. tell me nothing. I've been nominated for this. I I won this. Who is he oh, to tell me something? Yeah. That means your pride wall is a skyscraper to me. True. Even a child can teach you something if you open and learn. Yeah, that's you know? real. Yeah, that's real, man. That's good advice, man. Y'all watching uh this night monday night music man this is i'm sorry i'm, I'm, I'm all over your time no right no 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 you're not man this tonight's time is yours the re this is the reason why we wanted you here Gerald. because you know we follow you on instagram we might see you at church we might see you streaming but man we we wanted to sit down to pick your brains man to to wow. get to know the gerald Haddon that's behind the closed doors you know what i mean and i think that's a blessing that's that's now how we're able to appreciate you you know what wow. i mean as to how you you approach us, man, with some funny joke or, you know, a biblical principle and, you know, some family moment. But, man, this is this is Joe. This is why you tick and talk. And I yeah. think it's dope sometimes to open up the clock and say, man, I see this battery now. I kind of I see now why it's connected. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know what I mean? And it's, it's a dope thing, That's man. Good. So the uh, last two questions is, is okay. was it easy to start a church, Joe? Because you grew up in church and. And how was that process for you? How did you know God had called you? You knew music, you knew that well. You was nominated for awards. You traveled the world, literally the world doing it. Yeah. How were you able to step into ministry now as a pastor of Breathe ATL? Let me start by saying I didn't know, I, well, I knew I was called to ministry. Gotcha. And being a minister of music for years um, and pretty much not realizing I was pastoring people, being wow. the minister of music for Noel Jones, for, right? Well, I was I was at his church for fifteen years, and out of the fifteen years, let's say ten of them, I was the minister of music, right? Um, pastoring over three hundred and fifty people, and I realized you're pastoring, wow. doing this with them. Teach not you. I didn't just teach music; I actually gave life lessons. Like, and God right. says we we're the minstrels. We're the, the you. And all a pastor is is somebody who lead people and push them into their purpose. So I didn't realize that's that's what I was do, I was doing then. I, I would say, I don't want to do that. Oh, right. my God. pastoring is too much because I've seen right. 
the good, the bad, the ugly. Right. I've seen the stealing. I've seen the, the lies. Right. I've seen the truth. I've seen the behind closed doors who don't like each other. I've seen yeah. the, you know, <laughs> say, whisper in your ear, like, watch me raise this off. I've I been killing these jokes. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, God. This guy. You actually seen that firsthand, huh, G? Bro, I, I had a preacher tell me, he said, watch me raise this off. While he was doing it, get, he was getting thousands. He said, I told you. Nigga. I said, <laughs> Like, and he literally did it. Dog. Yeah, it made me say, yes. man, see, that's why I'm full. I said, this is why I'm yeah. full of preaching. That's I have weird. a way I feel about prophets. Yep. I have a way I feel about loan services. I, I have a way I feel about um taking money, um, asking for money. Yeah, and I have a I have a way and which which is good and bad. Yeah, because I've I have people now in my life as a pastor yeah. who've been showing me differently and mentoring me mm. and telling me, Oh, don't think this way. I understand why you think that way and keep this, but let right. me show you this. And I'm like, right. oh, they changed my perspective. Gotcha. So now, knowing I knew leadership was always in mind. Yeah, man. But pastoring, I said, no, my wife saw it before I did. And she told really? me that. that's how we end up moving from LA going on five years ago. April right. 2nd, make five years that we've been out of um out, out of um from LA. LA to, to Atlanta. Yeah, got you. Out of LA. Um, she told me, long story short, I'll just take you straight here. One day okay. she said, Purpose is not here for us in LA no more. After oh. everything is going great, living yeah. good, driving yeah. good, everything yeah. is amazing in my book. Yeah, you know, I'm going out in my road, get to get right. the mail, and I'm like looking up. We got three car garage, we got six beds. Right. We do right. I got four or five cars in the garage, you know. Right. Good. Life is good. I know where if I ain't got no money, I know where to go find it at. Yeah. She says purpose is not here anymore. Wow. After that. I said, where's purpose? We need to find where purpose is. She mm -hmm. said, I just feel like God. She said, I feel a pulling towards Atlanta, mm -hmm. um, Atlanta, Tennessee, or Texas. I said, wow. well, you pick where? And she said, Georgia. Is God pulling on me. We came to Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, after being here a year, I had two prophets that I believe in tell me um, when we were moving, one prophet said, you know, you're supposed to pastor. Where are you wow. going? She said, the, the, the church you're going to be working at is not whatever that church is. She didn't even know where I was going. She right. said, the church you're going to is not the church. You're not going to stay there at that job. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be pastor. And it's not going to be long. It's just the door that opens to get you to Atlanta, to where you're going. Wow. And, and I said, nah, she's off. I told Tammy, I said, she's off. <laughs> right. Oh, but you said she's she off. I said, she's off. I was like, she's off. <laughs> right. And sure enough, I was at the church 10 months. I quit. And, wow. I'm, and I went through a season of about six, seven months, like I'm not doing that. But God was right. calling us. Then I had another prophet I believe in. We were in Florida at, at his church. I go there all the time. Right. He, so he don't bother us because we come all the time. So he, <laughs> right. he don't need to bother the person to come all the time. That's coming all the time. Right. Yeah. So he right. don't bother us. But this one time he's preaching. He says, Jordan, tell me why y'all not pastor? He was in the middle of his message. And God said, that he said, hold on, Jordan, wow. tell me why y'all not pastor? I said, oh, in the middle of his in message, middle of his bro. message. Wow. Said, Come here. I said, oh, my God, here we go. <laughs> so he said, you're the pastor. God told me you're supposed to be pastor. And you know, you're supposed to be pastor. Mm. He said, God told me to tell you, if you don't start passing, he's going to close doors musically on you. Close mm. business. Anything you try to do, he's going to close the door until you do what you're supposed to do for him. And I said, oh, wow. Danny said, got in the car with me. I influenced said, I told you this. Wow. So she said, I, <laughs> I told you, which God sends somebody in your life. He always have your, your wife, any man on here, pastor, whoever it is. Yes, sir. Don't listen to your wife. You're making a big mistake. That's um, God yeah. usually speaks to her. Even though he may speak to you, he speaks to her first because she's your watchdog. It says she's your help me. Yeah. Don't help me needs. No, um, that also can say watchman. She's your meat. Help watch. She right. sees something before you see it most times. That's so whether, it's, whether it's a woman, a yeah. bad business decision, or hey man, I see I see us with the church. Like, oh no. And then the confirmation comes from, from somewhere else. That's good. So she did that and pushed me and said, let's do it. I, we sat and prayed about it. And after praying about it, um, God, I said, God, if it's meant, because this is how I talk to God, if it's meant for us to pastor, send people, because I can't do it alone. So I'm answering your question right now. Send wow. people because I don't know what to do. I've seen it done. Yeah, I've been to every mega church you can name behind yeah. the scenes. Potter House. I've been over there, looked yep. off everything. How do y'all run your systems? City Refuge. Yep. City Refuge. 
I go sit with the minister of music and say, tell me how y'all doing so. Tell me how y'all doing today. Every, you can, any church you can name, I probably done been there and looked at it and wanted to know how it run. Mm. And um, wow. I said, God, send people. Thank you, Lord. Sent me some people to start that believed it. I put out there and say, I'm, me and um, Tammy about to start pastoring. Would you help? Amen. Wow. 10 people. Right. Who helped me start a leadership team and start putting my stuff together. And then we just put out there, we about to start pastoring. Like wow. we're starting a church. Wow. And our first service, 350 people came, which none of them was our members. <laughs> they wow. just came. But right. The space was small. And um, 350 people came, friends came, family came from everywhere. And even now, going on our fourth year of pastoring this year, wow, June bro. 30th, it'll be four years. Um, Congratulations. We, have, we, have, we, we are where we are because, not because of me. I know we're where we are because it's absolutely God. Hear Amen. what I'm telling you? Yes, sir. Everything we have is God. Yeah. The people that come is God. The rent we pay is God. God, like, yeah. How are we gonna do this? And it shows up every month. Yeah. Like, and he attached people to us. And wow. some are just for a season. That's the other thing I want to say. And wow. I'm doing with this. Some people are for seasons. People need to understand. And this is what I went into pastoring with. Because mm -hmm. you have a saying, and you know this better than I do. People who had the church for 30 or 40 years, or the pastor mm -hmm. saying, um, if the if if you say, if you went to my church, you my musician, say, man, pastor, I think God is calling me to Ch Chicago. Yeah. Uh, it's not the season right now, Ryan. Sit still. Right. <laughs> Sit still. And they will say it like it's God. Past. And 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 most time they'll say it. Sometimes it's from a pure place. Let right. me say start by saying it. Okay. A lot of times it's from a a, a selfish place because yep. if I lose you, who's gonna run my music department? Who's gonna wow, man. handle my band? Who's gonna da da da? And if he leaves, there's a few other people that's gonna go too because he has. Um, relationship he has pull yep. on people yep. so let me sit him let me not no be still yep so my belief is people are for seasons mm. there are people that are there to help you with the scaffolding the building of it yeah they're not to stay in it in the building wow. you're to help me build the structure you can help me build the frame the framing you can help me put the towel in here you can help me with the systems you can help me with starting my music department but you're actually not the one who's going to live in the house man it's not your job and we have to remember that there's some that are mm -hmm. there are going to be some lifers that's what yeah. i call it. that's with you for 30 40 years and there's some that's going to be with you but they're spread out across the world if we're not building people to say all right go fly wow to me, yeah. a pastor is not doing his job. That's so good. In my pastoring now in four years, I've had some people leave that was key people. I just had literally just, just this happened mm -hmm. two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. One of my worship leaders who I depend on. Right. She, she's bilingual. She, she speaks, she speaks fluent um Spanish. Wow. She, she, she can sing as fluent Spanish, right? Um, her and her husband just FaceTime me not even a week or two ago saying. They're moving to Dallas. I said, oh, Pastor, she said, I didn't want to call you. She said, because I'm diehard breathe. I'm I'm breathing right. life. And right. so she said, so I had to have her husband tell me. I said, oh, my God. Losing you going to be like losing uh, losing a diamond. Right. In my That's real, man. And, and I'm like, but I said, I'm sad. Let me be honest. I'm sad. And this got me and set me back. I said, but I'm happy for you. Wow. I said, go get what you need to get. And I begin to give her nuggets of, let me do this. This is what mm. I, 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 you do this first. Did God tell you this? She said, they said, well, we're still praying about it, but right. it's looking good from, right. from the job offers. Right. It's double what both of us make. Both of us are getting double salaries. They're going to put us housing. They're going to move us. They're going to this and this. I said, it sounds amazing. I wow. said, and I would be wrong as a pastor to tell you no. Wow. I said, where is hurting my heart that you're going to be gone? Right. You're still connected from Dallas. She said, I'm still tied in the breathe. I'm still a I'm still a member of breathe. I'm a rep breathe wherever I go. She said, mm. wherever you need me, whatever you need from me or my husband, we're here. I said, Absolutely, you're family for life. I said, Man. go do what you need to do. Now she haven't left yet. Right, right, right. And right. and I just told her prayer about I said, make it sure it's a good decision. Because what you don't want to do is uproot something and then be like, Oh my God, we never should have did this. I said, just pray about it, make sure God 
taking you where you need to go. Mm -hmm. I said, but this could be God sending you to Dallas for whatever your next is, because that's what happened with me from L.A. to here. Right. I was still coming here. I'm not at that church no more. But now look at me. I'm here pastor. Yeah. And doing I said, well. that may be what God has for you to do something else there. You mm -hmm. may start there where you're going and be there only for a little bit of time. And then God wow. take you to your next. Got you. So we're not supposed to hold on. We're not supposed to choke people. That's how I came up with the name breathe. I don't wow. want to be part of nothing that chokes me. I want to be a part of something that lets me breathe. So it's right. my job to let you breathe. You know? Man, I was actually going to ask, but you answered it. How did you guys come up with the name breathe? But man, that's that was the, that's the answer. That's I powerful. Never be, I'm like that about music. I'm like that about my relationships. Yeah. I'm like that about my anything, like anything that's choking that feels choked. Get away from it. And oh I was sitting, God. like I said, when I first moved to Atlanta, I was at a church, minister music, elder worship. And I'm sitting right here like this, texting with the pastor. And I said, I'm choking. I quit. Wow. I called him and I, I called, but well, I didn't call him. I called, sure. the, uh, I called the, my, uh, my leader over me right. and told him, Hey, I'm, I'm quitting tomorrow. I'm turning my two week notice. That's real, man. I, what, he says, did God tell you? I said, God told me a long time ago, <laughs> if something wow. is choking me, Get away from it. Let it breathe. That's how I feel about music. Literally, if I'm working on something, I'm like, this ain't come. What is yeah. going? Shut right. it down. Get away from it. Go do something else. Come okay. back to it a day or two and say, all right, let's try this again. That's and good, if it's not man. feeling good then, I scratch it all. I'm like, it ain't meant for me to work. This is not meant for wow. me. Wow. Let me keep moving. Ooh, that's rich. Breathe. That's Let rich. it breathe. Yeah. You know? I don't believe in the Mount Zion or Hatton Temple of Church God Christ or Hatton Apostolic. <laughs> no, I believe God gave me a pure name. And right. here's the crazy part. That wasn't the name we were starting with our church. We actually had LLCs, the e -I -E -I -E. Right. We had all our, our paperwork done. We had our graphics done called C3. Wow. You know? Really? Yeah, where you encounter God, yourself, and others. That was okay. our, you know, our thing. We were, I know, I'm talking, it was Encounter, E3. Encounter. Gotcha, E3, encounter. yeah. Encounter. Um, where wow. you encounter God, yourself, and others. And now we, we was having our meeting. We six months in. And then I, I happened to do a live. Mm. Say, say what I just said to you about if you're choking, breathe. Yeah, breathe. Isaac Curry called me after he saw the live, I guess, or saw my post. He right. said, Joker, but he used the N-word. Right, 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 right. <laughs> tell you this, that's the name of your church. Breathe. Wow. Boy, you better call it breathe. I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, I do like that better, you know. Wow. And Tammy came home. I told her, I said, Isaac called, said, breathe. I said, because he saw my live and I was talking about breathe. Tammy said, it does make sense. I said, well, God, wow. we, now we got to go in this meeting and tell all our leaders who we've been talking about for five right. years that we're going with encounter. Right. Now to I breathe. Wow. To breathe. I went there and told him. I said, breathe. They yep. said, we love it. And we've been breathing ever since. Wow, man. Before we end, everybody, again, Gerald Haddon, this guy is an amazing musician, producer. Uh, he he even opened us up tonight with, a, with singing, y'all, okay? Uh, but you man, you <laughs> right, 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 right. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of instigated that fight today. Right. But it was good. It was good, man. Uh, Gerald, thank you so much for your time, dude. You have thank been, you. Uh, man, absolutely. It's it's a pleasure, man. So tell us how people can get in contact with you, Gerald. Um, I'm everything at Gerald Hatton on Instagram, at Gerald Hatton on Facebook, at Gerald Hatton on YouTube, if I got one, at Gerald Hatton, everything. <laughs> right. um, in my space, is still Gerald Hatton. Everything right. is Gerald Hatton. <laughs> uh, you can get me, if you need me for church stuff, <laughs> Gerald at breatheatl.com. Yes, sir. ATL.com. If you um, want to get in touch with me, breathe ATL that's way or at we are breathe ATL or breathe ATL.com. Hello at breathe ATL.com. There's so many just different ways to get at me. Um, but the quickest way is DM me at Gerald Hatton or send me an okay. email at Gerald at breathe ATL.com. There's yes, a way sir. to get it. Yep. Absolutely. Last thing, uh, Gerald, what advice would you give pastors? And music. well, not you know what? Let's 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 pass through that one. We're gonna talk about we're gonna actually bring you back, Gerald. I think if everybody's watching, if you enjoy it, Gerald, thank you all for watching. But we're gonna bring Gerald back. We're gonna we're gonna dive deeper into some more uh yeah, whenever music. you want me back, I'm ready, man. man. I think okay. man, it's a joy to have you, man. Yeah. What would uh what words of encouragement would you give people for the 2023 year, Gerald? Word of encouragement, I'm calling this year our legacy year. 
Amen. Um, why we call it a legacy year. Um, Michael Jordan, who had an amazing legacy, his number was 23. So it's 2023. Wow. So I call it the legacy year. Even at church, it's our reset year. Um, right. The year of construction, we're under construction. What? Build your brand this year. Go after wow. that thing. First of all, let me start by saying this, and I'm not trying to be super spiritual because I am. No, pastor, this is good. Yep. Here's the truth of the matter is go after kingdom first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto, to you. But I'm saying this to people in this year. Seek God first, but go after Amen. the things that you desire that you've been like, oh, man, I always wanted to start a business. I always wanted to start that thing. Go after it. What are you Amen. waiting on? So, because wow. if you if you go after kingdom, kingdom is heaven on earth. Wow, we're man. citizens of the kingdom, right? Yeah. So, if we're citizens of the kingdom, that means I have domain or dominion over this place. That means yeah. I, I'm supposed to be able to speak to something that says mine. So, what is that? Mm. A good marriage is mine. Yeah, being yeah, healthy man. is mine. Wow, um, a relationship with that person I want to have a relationship belongs to me. It may not happen tomorrow, but i I believe God gonna give me an encounter with whoever that person is to Amen. stop my business and say, God, if that's your will for me, make it happen. I'm speaking. You told me I'm supposed to be speaking. So I'm telling exactly. people this year, go after it, man. Amen. Go after God. Go after God and don't be afraid. The Bible says occupy until I come. You know what that means? Mm. Live. Live. Wow, bro. Live. That's real. So what is it you want to do this year? What is it you chasing this year? Pray. Amen. Put prayer in your forefront. Learn, learn what it is you need and go after it. Amen. That's that's the thing to do this year. You ask me, go after it's your it. legacy. It's, it's our Jordan, that. bro. <laughs> I love that. I want man. six rings. I want six. No, I yes, sir. Want, you know, I want <laughs> six Grammy awards. I, I want six Dove awards. I want six Stella awards. I want six Ask it. Whatever that thing is, go after it. I love it. I you love know? it. I yeah. love it. Man, y'all heard it live, and y'all heard it directly from your boy, your homie for from himself, man, Gerald had it again. Gerald, thanks again for being with us tonight, man. This is uh, you, man. the mind of a menstrual. It's a pleasure to have you, man. And we got to bring you back before the year is out again. I think we ought to have maybe a deluxe addiction on you, man, or, or some, some right, kind of- I know how to talk, I don't know how to do it, I don't know how to talk, man. <laughs> yeah, right, dude, man, you, you, see, the thing is, man, was so dope. I think you said it earlier. See, there's so many lessons you learn in church it just it just show up in other parts of your life as an Absolutely. adult. So Absolutely. it makes sense why you were in church as a kid and why you had yeah. the kind of family you had as a kid because you were able to use like you said you was able to use all those you know those production yeah. uh, yeah. uh relationships life. yeah and it's your life man so you was able you can't go to a bishop knows jones church you know thinking small you know what i'm saying <laughs> You can't you and, and the places you've been. I mean, he did movies. You didn't you didn't did live recordings. I mean, you've done things yeah. that require a yeah. lot of attention. So yeah. because Which of God, I'm about to give some, I'm about to give your viewers some news because you it. said live recording. The first thing we talked about was chain breaker. It's yeah. funny, Deacon called me two days ago and said, Hey, it's the mm -hmm. 25th year anniversary of wow. chain breaker. He said, Let's do a chain breaker reunion record. So <laughs> I think I think when when I'm about eighty percent sure we're doing one, I'm Bro. maybe a little more than that because being him, he actually I'm looking. He just sent me some some voice notes or some ideas he got. So it looked like we're about to do a chain record. Bro. We, we're doing it in Detroit. Stop here. playing. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say something stupid. I was gonna say if y'all do it, can I come? <laughs> Everybody's invited, dude. Everybody's invited. We got man. We just don't know where you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, if y'all do that, soon, bro, soon, so. soon we, bro, soon, so. we telling everybody. If you once you do, we ain't gonna we gonna wait until y'all give us the green light. But if y'all do that, bro, 25th anniversary. Oh, it's, oh, it's coming, it's coming. I just gotta make sure every all our ducks is in a row. We know what we're doing, how we doing it. And we so we've been talking the last two days about it. he just randomly calling, like, I think we should this. I think we did. He sent me videos of places we should oh. do it at. He giving me videos of like uh, ideas he got you know so i'm like all right let's let's see what we got like i said man. he's giving me his vision, vision and i'm like yeah. okay 
So what do you think? You know, so wow, that's gonna be ridiculously yeah. dope, bro. So, man, again, shout out to Gerald Haddon. Thank you guys for watching tonight, man. You guys have been a part of the Music Mondays, uh, and we're so excited to have the mind of a minstrel. We were able tonight to talk about the life, the ministry, the legacy, the church side, the music side uh and uh just the life side of gerald Haddon. thank you so much again gerald for for coming man, out tonight, i appreciate man. you right it's my pleasure you. You know, i my love pleasure y'all family man to life we love you too even more you uh and you, you even more man send love to tammy man next time Absolutely. we'll have both of y'all together on oh the show, man. man this, this live gonna be three hours long if it's both of us together. <laughs> Now what what kind of face would she make if she heard you say that, G? No, she know because we both know how to talk. Because oh, but think about it. Me and you don't need an hour and 20 minutes. Right. So right. you bring her to add what, what I just did. Right. Would you I think yeah. it would be we're going dope. To at least three hours. I think it would be dope, man. Maybe we absolutely we got to, we got to, have to, we have to yeah. blow it up. Yeah, we'll do that next time, man. We'll for bring sure. on tab. We'll just get you the day together. All right, man. Appreciate you, man. You guys stay tuned yes, for this bro. commercial for the movie that's coming real soon called Hosanna, the musical. Great night and farewell. There are a lot of great guys out there and they absolutely love dancing with new girls. <laughs> Here, give it this. Tell her at least thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. All right. All right, team. Hello. He left a trust fund for you, and it was payable based on you graduating from dance school. something just tell me man i don't want to be out here looking crazy i would tell you if i knew something because it sounds like you know something cuz yo what and i'm totally scared to tell t well why are you afraid to tell him you think he'll have you killed or something i love my music but I feel like being a servant is my calling too. Yeah, okay. So like, how do I do them both at the same time? Oh, that man will praise the Lord. Come on. Ah, yeah. Seems you and my brother have been spending quite a bit of time together. Oh, he's just helping with the music. <laughs> oh, just helping with the music. <laughs> Sir, listen, can you please tell him that Audi is here? No one gets Do you in. know any other word to say? Yeah. You do Audi out? Yeah. yeah. Bro, hold my phone. T! What? What do you mean, what? You've been acting weird and crazy and fidgeting and... I want you to be my wife! Oh, wait! Oh! Somebody help! I'm pregnant! Somebody help me! Help me, baby! All right, just calm down, baby, I got you. Oh, just wait, just wait a minute, I'm calling. Oh, Please, somebody help!